These mountains can be large. Some could be over 100, 200, even 500 feet. But on July 9th, 1958, a series of events would take place, causing a tsunami that would reach heights of over 1,700 feet. This is a 1958 Latoya Bay mega tsunami. On July 9th, 1958, an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.8 shook the Fairweather Fault 13 miles southeast of Latoya Bay, Alaska. It was felt as far north as Whitehorse, Yukon, and as far south as Seattle, Washington. This quake caused over 40 million cubic yards of rock to fall into Latoya Bay, causing the tsunami. That's enough rock to fill 12,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The impact of the rock slide created a wave run-up that shaved around 1,300 feet, or 400 meters of ice, off of the Latoya Glacier and eroded its rocky deltas. The wave definitely started in Gilbert Inlet, just before the end of the quake. It was not a wave at first. It was like an explosion or a glacier slough, Howard G. Ulrich said. There is an ongoing debate on whether the mega tsunami was a result of the rockfall generated by the earthquake or a result of the earthquake itself. The mechanism that creates mega tsunamis was examined for the Latoya Bay event in a study presented at the Tsunami Society in 1999. They stated that the mega tsunami was caused by a large and sudden spontaneous impact when about 40 million cubic yards of rock several hundred meters above the bay was broken off from the side of it by the earthquake and fell practically as a monolithic unit down the nearly vertical slope into the bay. The rockfall also caused air to be dragged down with it, which increased the amount of displacement. Another study was conducted in 2010 examining the infill on the bay floor, which was quite a bit larger than the amount of rockfall alone. Scientists decided that there had been a dual slide involving a rockfall which in turn caused a release of between 5 and 10 times its volume of sediment trapped by the adjacent Latoya Glacier. In total, 5 people died, and many homes, docks, bridges, and underwater communication cables were destroyed. The tsunami also reached a height of 1,720 feet, or 524 meters. That's over 260 feet taller than the Empire State Building. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I want to thank everyone for the support of comments left in my videos. They mean a lot to me, and I appreciate all the support. Please consider subscribing so you can learn more about weather phenomena on my channel.